In her first 100 meters in two years, Jamaica's Brianna Liston, who reps for LSU, lays down an insane 10.87 seconds. However, it was wind aided, but still very impressive. Let's talk. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it. Peter Lloyd World, go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next bit of drop to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, are you ready? Yep, good to go. Now, Brianna Liston started her 2024 season doing insane things. In her first 60 meter dash, she opened with an insane 707 seconds. Set. And a good one there in lane four, Brianna Liston of LSU. Oh my. Liston, 707 for Brianna Liston. The LSU phenom closed out her season with another astounding run and win at the NCAA Indoor Championships in the women's 60 meter dash. Now available, Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with, yep, good to go, and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening, get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you royals are truly the best. Brianna Liston won the 60 meter dash for women at the NCAA Indoor Championships 2024 with a resounding and incredible time of 7.03 seconds. You can start for Kayla Jackson and also for Brianna Liston. Here comes Jackson, but she can't catch Liston. Liston's going to win it. Jackson second. Mays. It was Mays of Oregon third. Jasha Sears probably fourth. 7.03. The South Central Region Indoor Track and So by now we've gotten used to her doing incredible things in her races. She's having the time of her life, this remarkable young Jamaican female. So one would not be shocked if you heard that she opened her first hundred meter in almost two and a half years running something insane, which is exactly what she did. At the ongoing battle on the bayou, oh, I, I said the completely wrong thing the other day, battle on the bayou, that is, which is taking place as we speak, the young lady came second overall in the women's 100 meters behind one of the persons that we said may have been a problem, which is, of course, the remarkable flavor of Philly. However, she was still extremely impressive because she ran an insane 10.87 seconds. However, that time is wind aided. Now, let me explain for those who do not understand. When it is wind aided, it means it's a plus wind. So this means that the wind is behind the athlete, pushing them towards the finishing line, which is giving them, which is advantageous to the athlete. So it's making them run faster. If the wind is over plus 2.0 it means that according to world athletics standards or the, the the rules that run is not really legal so it's called a wind aided run in this instance she had a huge win behind her when she ran at 10.87 seconds so in the end favor ophili uh tiger olympians ran 10.8 five to win with a plus 2.5 meters per second win of course brianna liston ran 10 10.87 uh, also with a plus 2.6 meters per second win which is huge which means it's a, it's not a legal 
uh, run so it's a win aided run as i explained and another name that you have gotten to know uh, of course brian Liston runs for the lsu is from old miss is mackenzie long uh, who came third in 10.89 also with a two point, plus 2.6 and Thelma Davis of LSU came fourth with a time with a time of 10.98 so as exciting as a 10.87 sounds and it's impressive it's not a legal run now when we did our preview of this coming race we said we didn't think she'd run a sub 11 but we thought she'd run somewhere between uh, a 11 or four or five to eleven ten that's what we would have been happy with um i believe our previous best coming to this was 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 eleven point one five so when i saw that she had run a ten point eight seven i actually said oh no too fast too fast uh so it sounds weird but yes i was a little happy when i found out that this was win 80. now when you adjust for calculation for the wind etc it means that she actually ran eleven point zero one which is exceedingly impressive for her first, her very, very first 100 meters in two or two plus years. That's remarkably impressive. And that's really what I, I had predicted and thought she would run, something closer to that kind of time. People, this is extremely impressive. And this is her first race. So she's kind of easing into it. We are looking at something very special that's happening with Brianna Liston. Now, I know that you're already aware of this because of the insane 7.03. And I had said that I believe, uh, and let me say if I have, if I have not said it publicly, but I'm pretty sure I have. But I do believe that sometime this season, this young lady will be running something close to a 10.80, which is miles away from 11.01, but still exceedingly, exceedingly. And I, I want to underline, 11.01 is very, 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 very impressive, especially at the very beginning of your outdoor season and your first 100 meter race in two plus years. I am very happy with this and you should be too. This young lady is blowing everyone out of the water. As far as I know, she probably has the fastest 100 meter of any Jamaican female sprinter so far for the 2024 season. Of course, the big guns have not started to run as yet. But 11.01, 11, I think 11.01 is really impressive in your first 100 meter race in two plus years. Um, I, I'm, I'm so excited, I can't wait. So there you have it at the Battle of the Bayou in her first 100 meters in two years. Brianna Liston, who reps for LSU, who is of course an incredible Jamaican female athlete. Um, after running her first 100 meters, opens with a wind assisted uh, 10.87 which adjusted for the wind the wind was a minus 2.6 means she ran 11.01 absolutely awesome now statistics tells us that 65 percent of you come to this channel often still have not hit the subscribe button please do me a personal favor me peter lloyd hit the subscribe button we're trying to beat the algorithm and i promise you that we'll continue to give you the best product possible and we'll continue to improve the product we have a lot of exciting things lined up for you and also check out our newest um yep good to go sports live stream awesome number four i leave the link in the description below you are royals kings and queens bless up